Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn how to add then iframe to our HTML document. So let's try to learn more about this iframe details. So iframe element. Iframe elements are designed to allow you to embed other web documents into the current document. So the definition, what is this definition of this iframe element? It is designed to allow you to embed that means it is designed to allow you to add other web pages into your current web page so that is the usage of this iframe element this is great for incorporating third party content into your website so if you want to add a third party content if you want to show the third party website page into your website that you might not have direct control over and don't want to have to implement your own version so if you have a third party content to show in your website and you don't want to implement that in your your own version and you want to show that third party website means so this iframe would be great there are some serious security concerns to consider with the iframe but this doesn't mean that you should not use them in your websites there are some serious security concerns it seems to consider while using this iframe so you need to understand that while using this iframe so there are some serious security concerns but this doesn't mean that you should not use them we can use it but little bit careful is needed for adding this iframe into our website this is the code snippet for the iframe so as you see iframe element it is open and you are having an attribute of source the same thing we are giving the source attribute the file path whether it may be an absolute url or the relative url and you are having something like width and height so you are having other other attributes like allow full screen sandbox and between this opening and closing of iframe tag you will be able to see the paragraph element that it is the fallback content which the if if the browser doesn't support this iframe element just like the audio element and the video element how it has the fallback content in the same scenario the paragraph content also will be in between the opening and the closing tags of the iframe so this is the code snippet of this one iframe so there are some attributes which are necessary for this iframe so let's try to learn one by one the attributes the first attribute is border none so if used so if iframe is used the iframe is displayed without a surrounding border so if you use the iframe with border is equal to none then the iframe is displayed without any surrounding border otherwise by default browsers display the frame with a surrounding border so by default the browser displays the with a border surrounding the iframe so which is desired which is generally undesirable so if you don't want the border along with the iframe means you need to provide this attribute border is equal to none so let's try to see another attribute another attribute is the allow full screen if set the iframe is able to be placed in a full screen mode using the full screen api somewhat beyond the scope of this article so if you use this yellow full screen means it will try to show it in the full screen mode another one another attribute is the src attribute so this attribute as with the audio image or audio so the same thing it will take contains a path pointing to the url of the document to be embedded whether it may be absolute url or the relative url how this one will takes so like the video and image tag so the same scenario the iframe also takes the source thing so another attributes is the width and height so width and height are also supported in this iframe these attributes specify the width and height you want to you want the iframe to be in the same way as other similar elements like video you can also include fallback content between the opening and the closing tags so we have seen it right iframe tags that will appear if the browser doesn't support the iframe in this case we have included a link to the page instead it is unlikely that you will come across any browser that doesn't support iframes these days so the last attribute we have seen is the sandbox attribute this attribute works in slightly more modern browsers this attribute works in slightly more modern browsers than the rest of the iframe features example i eat and above this attribute will be supported so it will request the heightened security settings so if you have if you if you want more high security settings means this will request we'll try to learn more about the sandbox afterwards later on this videos 
so this is all about the iframe so these are the attributes that are supported so let's try to see the practical implementation of the iframe so here i am opening the visual studio code and here i am creating a new file that is nothing but iframe.html so let's try to add the code snippet the common code thing html5 blueprint so i am adding here and here what i want to do is i want to add the iframe so here you can use iframe okay so we need to add the src src of this iframe and in between this iframe so we can add a fallback content that your browser if you want to show your browser doesn't support doesn't support the iframe okay iframe element you can use like like this so this is the fallback content and here we need to provide the source so i am taking here the source so the maps content i am taking so i will try to open it here if you try to see here i am taking some map content here if you want to embed this map into your web page means here they are providing some iframe let's try to copy this iframe url and let's try to place it here for example if i try to place it here so this is the url they are trying to give this is the iframe they are trying to give so here we are having a width and height and let's try to remove these all the things okay so i am removing these all the things so width and height we are able to know and iframe in this iframe i can use something like p your browser doesn't support iframe i can use it like this now this is the iframe so here it is taking the source i am taking some third party source now let's try to open this one in the live server now here you will be able to see the iframe so the data you will be able to see now for example let's say that let's try to add it 300 and the 200 okay now if you try to see the output here you will be able to see the output right now a border is there between the iframe so if you don't want this border means so what you can do border is equal to none so you can add the border is equal to none automatically the border will be removed or otherwise border is equal to zero you can add the border is equal to zero so we have discussed about this border right we can also give something like frame border also so frame border is equal to zero if you try to keep so the border has been removed so like this you can be able to give so hello full screen you can also add this hello full screen so it will try to hello the full screen so these are all the different types of elements available and this is how we will be adding this iframe into the html content Hope you understood about this one adding this iframe using the, all the attributes also we have seen it if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you